when you are feeding catfish don't just feed them at one side like i'm doing now you see when you feed them at one side they all rush to this side to come and eat but what you must do is that hello guys welcome to another exciting entertaining and educative video here on the foam team my name is a foam i want to thank you for sticking to our channel subscribing to the channel and supporting this channel please we appreciate each and every one of you for the reviews that you give us and the responses that we get from you and we will urge you to continue to do that today i want to talk about five most important things that you must know in catfish feeding and then the five mistakes that most catfish farmers make in feeding important thing that you must note in catfish feeding or the first mistake that most catfish farmers make in catfish feeding is overfeeding you know because sometimes you want the fish to eat well you want them to grow um, faster for you you tend to feed them over this uh, the maximum that they can eat when this happens it means that most of the feed that you put in the water is not going to be eaten by the catfish now this feed will go down to the bottom of the pond and it's going to pollute your water so you realize that it will make your pond dirtier in no time and then you have to change the, the, the water in the pond so overfeeding is one thing that every catfish farmer must note and guard against because you are wasting feed you are spending more money you are cutting down on your profits but you are not getting any results when you are feeding catfish make sure that you feed them gradually until they are satisfied as soon as you put feed in that they are not coming or rushing to come and pick it means that they are satisfied and that you and then you must stop so one mistake that you must note and prevent is overfeeding the next one is underfeeding Underfeeding is also one cause of catfish not doing well because sometimes you want to save feed, you don't want to spend more. So you don't feed them to their satisfaction. When this happens, they are not able to grow to the size that you want at the particular time or at the right time that you want. So underfeeding is one of the things that you must note and avoid. Please feed them to their satisfaction because every kg of feed that they consume will be used in producing more weight so feed them the right feed at the right quantity so that they are satisfied and then they can grow better for you the next mistake or the third mistake to avoid in catfish farming is the wrong pattern of feeding now you see that when we are feeding catfish most of the time we tend to feed them at one particular spot so that you see that all of them rush to that particular spot when that happens most of the fish do not get the chance to eat it's the few big ones who can rush to that level who will get all the food to eat so the right pattern to feed catfish is what i'm going to show you here when you are feeding catfish don't just feed them at one side like i'm doing now you see when you feed them at one side they all rush to this side to come and eat but what you must do is that you must spread the feed across the pond so in this case you see that everybody is eating but there's no rush everybody gets to eat but there's no rush but because over time you are feeding them all at one point that is the wrong pattern that is the wrong pattern of feeding so feed them spread the food evenly across the pond so that each every every catfish is eating and then they all grow to the right size that you want 
So it is very important that as catfish farmers, you know the right pattern to feed your fish. Now, I noticed most catfish farmers, I think they get excited when they are feeding at one, side, one point and then feed um, the catfish rush to come and eat. It's exciting, but it's not the right way. You get a point. So do the right thing. Don't feed all of them at one side. You see that all the feed that I put at the other side of the pond has been consumed. If I was to put all of them at this side, those fish there will not get a chance to eat. So feed, use the right pattern in feeding. And that is also one of the um, most important things that you must uh, note in catfish feeding. The next very important thing about catfish feeding that you must know is the time of feeding. The time of feeding. This point, as they say, cannot be uh, overstressed. It is very critical. The time that you feed your catfish. Now, there are some times in your cat at your catfish farm that you shouldn't feed your catfish at all. One, as soon as you bring fingerlings to your farm and you put them in a new pond, it is not the right time to feed. When you put fingerlings in the pond fresh, don't feed them till at least about 24 hours. As soon as catfish become stressed, they cannot eat. And when you bring them from another farm, you go and buy them from another farm, transport them, come and put them here. Through all that, they become very stressed. So when you put them in the pond, that is not the right time to feed them. So you wait so, as I said, about 24 hours before you feed them. Another wrong time to feed catfish is after, after sorting. After you have sorted the catfish, you put some in there, group the bigger ones, group the smaller ones, the medium size, all of them. If you feed them immediately, you are wasting feed. You are poisoning the water. So, wait until some time before you feed them. So, the wrong times to feed is right after sorting and then right after introducing catfish into the pond also as a farmer you must be observant and then on your farm you realize that there are some particular times that you feed catfish that they don't eat well note it as a farmer and then don't feed them at that time so that immediately you feed them they're able to consume all the food and the feed does not in turn become poison to them so timing of feeding is also very important the last most critical part that you must note or mistake that you must avoid in catfish feeding is the size of feeding. Getting the right size of feed for the right size of catfish. Now, as the fish grow, the food that they eat changes. So, when they are fingerlings, you are feeding them a particular kind of food, you are feeding them and then they are growing, you are feeding them 1 mm, you are feeding them 2 mm, you are feeding them 3 mm as they grow. As a catfish farmer, you must know when to feed 1 mm, when to feed 2 mm, and when to feed 3 mm, and the other ones till they grow to 8 mm and the rest. If you don't change the feed at the right time, what it means is that you are making losses. They are not getting the right kind of nutrition that they need at that time to grow. So if they have to eat 1 mm, know when you are feeding them 1 mm. In my next video, I'm going to show what time to feed what feed. What time of uh, what size or what time of the catfish are you going to feed what size of feed. So it is very important that you know when to feed them what type of feed. And then you switch it up when it is the right time to switch it up. Or else, if you are feeding bigger catfish the wrong size of feed or less, um, grade of feed it means that they are eating feed too much and you are not getting the results that you must get also if you have smaller catfish and then you are feeding them a higher grade of feed it means that they cannot eat the food and digest it so that they will grow and um, gain weight as you want them to be so these are the five most important things to note in catfish feeding and the five mistakes that you must avoid overfeeding underfeeding the right type of uh, timing of the feed the pattern of feeding and then getting the right size of feed to feed them so guys i believe this video will be very educative 
to everybody who has an interest in going to catfish farm or who is already a catfish farmer so that you also learn the right things and then apply it on your farm as i always say we are all learning i learn from you sometimes i learn from the comments the ideas that you share when you call me what we talk about i learn from it the things that i also know i share it so that you also learn from it but if you have anything to say on this please don't hesitate to comment like this video comments let's share ideas let's build our farms together there's enough space for all of us to excel we nobody has to go down for the other one to rise we can all rise together so we share ideas on our catfish farms and then we can all grow together so thank you for watching this video to this end i beg you subscribe to the channel so that i want you to get the information as and when we post it so that it help you build your farm so subscribe click on the like button and share this video see you again next time bye bye